Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. It's always entertaining to hear Uncle Madden give the welcome to country. Um, he combines humour with the significance and importance of the recognition of the traditional Aboriginal culture. Thank you very much, David, for the invitation to officially open, though my role is rather brief, as it should be, because you're not here to hear from the Secretary of Health. You're here to hear about all the wonderful innovations in cancer care and treatment that we are conducting here in New South Wales. In the interest of not being too insular and inward looking, we have international and other national uh, dignitaries here and experts in the field. So welcome to Craig Earl. Um, we're delighted uh, to hear what you're doing and uh, I'm sure it will have great application here in New South Wales. And to Karen Canfell, welcome. Uh, to David Roder, welcome from South Australia. Happy to have you here. Um, Scott McLaughlin from uh, Chief Executive of Western Sydney, LHD, and all the other workers here in clinical services in cancer, welcome, and this is just for you. Um, the briefing note I had said it's been seven years we've had the Cancer Innovations um, Symposium, and when I reflect on the quality and outcomes that we are achieving in cancer care, in New South Wales at the moment, I can only assume and conclude that they have been extraordinarily successful. The work of the Cancer Institute since inception in 2003, plus the delivery of care by the frontline services has made a significant difference to cancer outcomes here in New South Wales. And we continue to strive to do that. When I was appointed as secretary, it's a big health system and what do you want to achieve? From my perspective, I've, I've pinned my flags to the mast on a couple of things. Safety and quality in healthcare delivery is absolutely non-negotiable. We have an obligation to provide safe and high quality care. Better value care is at the heart of that also. In better value care, we need to understand the patient experience and the patient outcomes for the delivery of the care that we provide. And that's a complex journey we're on for better value care, but many of the initiatives undertaken uh, by the services with the support of the Cancer Institute can make a far better value care proposition. The challenge for us here in New South Wales is in data access and e-health and analytics is critical to us achieving the safety and quality agenda and the better value care agenda. I think the Cancer Institute was at the forefront with the prescribing protocols and has led the way for the state in a number of the initiatives that will enhance a digital provision of services. But we're struggling a little bit, it would be fair to say, with access to data and the linked data. And that's one of the challenges that I've set for the executive team as how we can open up some data platforms to take them, uh, make them more accessible and really leverage the wealth of information that is at our fingertips, um, but is being held a little bit too closely at this time. So open data is absolutely critical. The final thing that I'm really keen that we set the agenda for more comprehensively at a system level is the patient experience. And I touched on its importance in better value care, but the patient experience is absolutely fundamental to the quality of the care that we provide. And I believe we haven't done that in a systematic enough way across the health system. Um, at some stages, in some quarters, it could even be called tokenistic. So I want us to, to really deeply embrace the patient experience and develop 
systems and processes to measure the patient outcomes and the patient experience more fully. And I believe through those initiatives, we will have a world-class health system. So I congratulate the program organisers in the development um, of the program because there's a wonderful array of uh, speakers that touch on many of those initiatives. And from my perspective, I think cancer services across the state are at the forefront of achieving some of those things that I think are going to be most important in positioning the New South Wales health system as the best one in Australia. Sorry to those from other states. But also at the heart of it is making it the best experience for patients. Thank you.